Hey everybody, this is Oliver and I have yet another video about H5P coding. And uh, today it will be interesting for you if you want to work with um, so-called compound content types or wrapper content types that can contain others. Um, yeah, maybe you want to create that from scratch or you want to um, add more content types to question set for example because you think it's useful. And then you will have to check some things and um, yeah that's what this video is about so just again the basics not everything in detail I'll give you some room for experiment although I think it is pretty complete this time because it's not a huge topic so um, maybe let's have a look at question set because it is one of these compound or wrapper content types that can contain other content types because um, I hope you know you don't have to recreate everything from scratch and in h 5 you can just reuse other content types as dependencies so for example you can use multiple choice questions inside question set. So uh, here's question set um, from the H5P page, you will know that. And I can just uh, go through it and um, you will notice, or you can think about it, at what um, points does question set have to communicate with the sub content types in there. So this is question set and drag and drop. So uh, let's just answer some, uh, let's just check some answers. Okay, one correct let's let's count it okay we could get four scores here maybe uh, for four points we did get zero and next one uh, yeah we can just do something here that was wrong one point and uh, oh yeah one have get one to have one point let's say these are cranberries so that's correct so one of one so I should get uh, one out of six points in total and if I click on finish there is one out of six and um, maybe if we have, have um, already noticed at least now um, I that the question set if I was question set I would have had to ask multiple choice question and drag and drop and the other multiple choice question okay what is your maximum score that uh, I can achieve so I can sum it up and uh, what was the actual score um, that the user achieved in, in his attempt or her attempt and uh, that was communication there was some other communication that you may have missed but I will show you uh, what that was um, so at least these um, two questions what is the current score what was the maximum score possible um, should have should have asked about that and uh, that was one part of communication then um, now I could give some commands to the other so um, you've seen that before but I can now click on show solution so um, now there must be a way that I can tell multiple choice question and drag and drop to show the solutions and um, they're all showing the correct solution now and um, and again the same for retry so I now have to tell the others my children so to speak re reset yourself go to your initial state and for multiple choice question, I guess reshuffle the answer options and stuff like that. So um, as if the user clicked on retry. Um, yeah. Th so um, yeah, there's a little more, but I'll cover that uh, right in a second. Um, how does H5P do that? So in other languages like JavaScript, um, or in other languages than JavaScript. Um, there will be interfaces and you can do interfaces in JavaScript as well but um, in HRF, HRF just uses so-called contracts so um, if you as a sub as a content type like multiple choice question want to be included in other content types you have to fulfill a contract and uh, it sounds uh, difficult but but it is not it's documented here so um, of course I will put the link in the description but if you want to have a look at it yourself so you would go to h5p go to documentation and uh, content type development and there you would choose contracts and um, if you're interested here you will find um, some more information about contracts in JavaScript or design by contract how it's called and then there is just one this question type contract uh, that's all for now but it, there could be more in the future if, if there are if there's a need to if like there's a fixed set of um, function functions that, that you would expect from other content types so <coughs> let's have a look so um, basically this is a list of functions and variables that a content type must have 
if it should be put into other content types um, of question type. So um, of course, if, if you think of column, it doesn't do scoring, so there is no need to ask for with the total score, for example. Um, but in question set, of course, you need that. So um, if you have like a question set compound content type, complicated word, uh, then you would need your children to fulfill the contract. So what does it mean? So it would have to have this get answer given function. Um, that is the one that might not have been obvious, but um, if I go back to multiple choice, so let's do it again. Um, notice what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just checking answer options. I'm not clicking on check, um, <coughs> but technically I have given an answer, haven't I? So I now go to the, go to the next one drag and drop and actually now I have given an answer although I haven't checked my score and uh, now I go to the next one and see what happens here I could go back and I could go forth and as soon as I now click an answer option like blueberries I will get that button so um, in the background question set is asking the others um, has the user given an answer and if it's true for all of them for all content types then he or she is able to go to the final screen so um, I can click on finish now. So that is what is happening. And of course for the score. And uh, so these are the functions that are expected from uh, these children. So model choice must have a function which is called get answer given, which will return true or false depending on <laughs> if an answer, uh, whether an answer has been given or not. And uh, it will have get score, which uh, would tell the actual score and it would have get max score. So if I ask model choice question, get max score, um, it will give me a number from zero to, well, whatever uh, the amount, <laughs> the maximum amount is. Um, these are the questions I can ask. Then um, there are two commands, no, three commands actually that I can give. So I, as question set or some other wrapping content type, could say show me the solutions. So I would call show solutions, and um, like right here, whoop. Now the content types would go into this mode and show the solution and um, reset task that is um, like kind of go into go to your initial state so if I click on uh, if I'm on the final uh, screen and click on retry all the sub content types the children would reset so that's that and then we have the well this is kind of special get XAI data and um, We'll have a look at that in a second, but I will not cover that topic in, in total because that is huge. But um, just remember that if you have a content type that should be put into other content types, um, this one is kind of important, even if you don't have scoring. It, it, it's even relevant in course presentation, uh, in, in uh, column, for example. Um, yeah. So and then we have two variables, enable solutions button and enable retry. I don't know why this is not called enable retry button or this is not called enable solutions. That's the way it is. Um, these are not functions that you can call, but um, uh, content types like multiple choice question have to have this parameter uh, because, for example, in question set, I maybe as an author want to override these, so um, I don't want to have the retry button anywhere. So, um, I, but I just want to click it once. So I don't want to go to mobile choice and deactivate it, and go to drag and drop and deactivate it, and maybe go to true false and deactivate it. But I just want to set it once in true uh, in question set. But I don't want to have the retry button, and then I need to set that for the other content type. So they have to have this parameter in uh, the editor and. Um, there's a video on that as well, so um, it would have to be defined in semantics.json. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, now we've seen everything that needs to be implemented, and now we can try it out it for real, and uh, we can play question set. So uh, I'm now pretending to be question set, so you can see how that works. So we have a multiple choice question, and um, now I want to be question set, and uh, I want to ask this content type questions. Uh, like has an answer been given and um, I want to give some comments like reset yourself so I can simulate that by uh, clicking F12 on my system at least um, I will get this developer console and um, yeah now I will go to the field it's, it's important to know that 
kind of I have to be inside this iframe. So um, now I couldn't call the functions, but now I'm going inside this h5p iframe. And there now I will find an h5p object, which is actually the core of h5p, and I could use all the core functions that h5p have. And I can also have a look at the instances that are running. That is how. And um, yeah, it's just multiple choice here in this iframe, so it is just one. But um, of course, if I was uh, if I was multiple question set, I might have more children, so so I would um, have more to choose from. But now I just have one, so I, I pick the first um, instance, which is this multiple choice question. And now I can see if these uh, functions have been implemented properly. So. Uh, right now, I have not given an answer, have I? So um, I expect if I now call get answer given, it will tell me false because I haven't given an answer. And luckily, it does. So that is nice. So actually, first of all, I can. There is this function, so I can can use it. That's important because otherwise, I would get this information in question set, and well, I, it wouldn't work because um, I would never see um, this finish button because if th this um, or I would always see in that case, I would have to find a way around at least. So if I want to have the finish button in the way it is supposed to work, um, then this function has to be there. So now the interesting thing, uh, let's say I click on blue and now we expect it to be true. So if I now call get answer given, it gives me true, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we could now try one of the others. So um, get score maybe, um, yeah, it should be zero. So if I call it and call get score, get score, it gives me zero, which is nice. And of course, I have to answer correctly now because otherwise it will stay zero. So very dark purple, correct, score one of one. And if I now get call get score, I will get score of one, which is perfect. So um, if I was question set, I could now ask all the content types, say, what is your score? And then um, I could display that and sum it up. Okay, then we have these two commands, or three commands, um, show solutions. Um, it by the way, it doesn't matter when I call that. So let's say I'm, um, I've am i just started and it doesn't matter if I've given an answer, I don't have to check first uh, if I wanted to show the solution. Um, uh, of course, I have to go to the iframe, inside the iframe. And uh, now I'm again, I'm calling this instance of multiple choice and I say show not all solutions, I want to have show solutions. And I call it and um, well, it returns undefined because it doesn't return a value, but as you can see, um, it now displays the correct solution. And because I ha didn't give an answer, um, there's nothing red, nothing green, but here it is very dark purple would have been the correct solution. And the same works with a uh, reset task. So now it would reset itself and uh, I could re re start over again. Then the special uh, one that I will not explain completely would be not get answer, uh, answer given get x API data. Um, you don't have to know what x API is for now. Um, it's not that important. You just have to know that this function has to be there. For example, if you want to include content types and other content types, you would have to check is it there. Um, and uh, you don't have to worry about this result. It would return a statement, and the statement would have an actor and a verb and a result, and um, it just has to be there for now. And of course, we have these two variables: enable solutions button and um, enable retry, which we can access because um, oh, we could we could snoop inside the uh, content type. But it just has to be there. So whenever you check, um, can a content if you, if you want to check, can a content type be included? in um, h5p in other content types then you would just check um, are these functions there and maybe do they work correctly um, i assume so but um, if they're there that's great then potentially there's some more things but that is a good um, good basis to to know can this content type be included in other content types so if you want to check it yourself that just choo choose one of the content types do what i did click uh, press on press uh, f12 or open the, the console in some other way and uh, just try to get to the instance that you're seeing and uh, check if the function is there and um, what it does if you if you call it so that's all for today
Um, I hope you've learned something, and um, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. See ya. Bye.